Hello, and welcome to the Burncast. Hello, hello. Doing a chill reading stream today. We're going to be reading Scar, which is a shark book, for the season three finale of the Burncast. Um, if you like our show, please consider uh, checking out our Patreon. Support us there, and uh, it's going to be quite useful going into season four, because we're ramping up quite a few things. Yes. We've already uh, we've uh, managed with our uh, support from Patreon to get another camera. Yeah, and we'll turn the uh, the the podcast into a video podcast, so that it's more enjoyable to watch on uh, YouTube. And uh, you know, but the podcast will remain as a podcast going forward. Yes. So. And uh, yeah, with your contributions, we can do more stupid shit. And what are you uh, talking about, stupid? <laughs> this is critical this yeah. is to the well, writing world. It'll allow us to pay for more books about sharks. Much needed. Yes. Uh, the shark book industry is plummeting these okay. days, and uh, we're the only ones keeping it afloat. Yeah. But this isn't just a shark. From no. what we know, this is a... A evil uh, Nazi. Nasty. It's a Nazi shark. I think yeah. it's got some do- evil secret doctor work behind it. And, you know. Yeah. But we will see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you know. Feel free to uh, read along with us if that's your inclination, <laughs> or just to hear the pain as we go through it. Uh, and maybe we'll do some. Uh, do some other stuff later on depending on how good the book is we might decide to hide it you know uh, who knows who knows what do you mean hide it well you know stop at a certain point and, and oh, leave yeah. the rest for the podcast well we can't reveal all of the secrets of scar otherwise people won't listen to the podcast <laughs> All righty, let's get into R. And uh, obviously this book is a cut above. I mean, let's oh, just yes. get that out of the way. Uh, it's not the usual thing we look at. It's uh, No, I in, expect this one to be good. It's uh, more in league with uh, Vigilante Reloaded in terms yeah. of quality. Uh, and well, We hope so. We hope so. Uh, but the guy behind it was awesome. Like, mm. he, he was just... All of his books were, like, Bigfoot stuff, super shark stuff, monsters super from the snake. deep. Yeah. yeah. He's, like, personally coined the term deep sea <laughs> thriller or horror or deep sea something. Um, so, yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, obviously, uh, sharks created by scientists for the purpose of... I don't know. There's something about like, I'll say again, our shale ho- our shareholders will like what they see. Like, I guess they intend to make a lot of money off the sharks. Well, sharks are profit pigs. I mean, they're <laughs> they're loaded with cash. I'm going to blast through this book. It's so nice to actually read stuff that's not like... Yeah. It's the right term for like bad writing. That's a good term for it. Like, Just, that's it. That's the that's term. That's the term. Dr. Zoller, she's got a lot riding on the yeah, she's shark business. Triple, uh, triple payments to her salary. Increase. Well, the execs know the sharks are the big bucks. 
Oscomo Corp, you know, they they understand uh, that you know the the money is really in, in genetically engineered super sharks. <laughs> I like how they also, like, in 20 minutes, Scar would be placed within his pen. It's like, he's already got the name Scar. They named him... What? Like, I, I, I'm i sorry, though, but, like, we, I know we haven't re read much into it yet, but for what purpose is this beast being created? Like, why would you want a, a very violent shark? <laughs> why would you want that? No, I mean... Not just about the the violentness of the shark; it's about the evilness of the shark. I mean, it's got the fucking red eyes. I'm not disappointed. The cover shark doesn't. Those damn professors at the Genetic Research Institute. And they, they tried, tried to, to tell her that sharks, sharks are not money makers. She knows better than that. Why is... It says the black twisting image swam, but swam in in, in notation marks? Like... Does it... He's, he's just, just dropping, dropping, like... That it swims... He's just dropping, there. like, uh, Aquarian terms, I don't know. It swam, like... <laughs> Did it not swim like a normal shark does? Does it have tentacles? I, like, what am I picturing? You know, why is that noted? The attack that claimed her brother's life. Oh. I also like that idea that like. When your whole family's just into sharks and you, you're both, your brother and sister team doing shark stuff, uh, your brother loses his life and you almost lose yours too. It's a sign to stay in that. She had extracted the DNA of an extinct megalodon shark and combined it with that of the present day great white. And that's created a super shark? She also has a shark tattoo. She fucking loves sharks. Just shark tattooed on her forehead. She lost two. She, uh, her parents' uh, relationship with her parents is down the drain because of sharks. She's lost two marriages because of sharks. So what if it's a relationship with her parents? So what if two marriages faltered because of her obsession with sharks? This writing Baby, like, you can't. You have to stop. You you cannot stop. You have to just it's either give me it or up. the shark. It's me or Sky. You know, <laughs> stop making evil sharks. Baby, uh, look, I know we're going to go on that honeymoon to Fiji, but uh, honestly. Look, I've just got this uh, megalodon DNA. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this megalodon DNA, and I'm going to combine it with a great white. It's going to be a real cash pile for us. How is that going to make any money? <laughs> Olivia gave one last glance at the future vice president. That's her. Oh yeah, it's shark time. Welcome to the pri uh, stream, Prim. Shark time. No introduction, really, like, to the, the shark. There's no, like... Nah. Like, they don't slip it in. They just slip it in, just like, he's already a character. Yeah. Just at the start. Everyone knows Scar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got... Uh, he's half Megalodon. <laughs> Did you ever see that Megalodon movie? What was it called? Uh, it had a really dumb name that uh, I think alienated uh, anyone that could be enthusiastic about shark movies. Wasn't uh, it like Megalodon versus Giant Snake or something? Nah, those are those um, those are like, like Sharknado movies. That that's yeah. 
it was it was like it was a real movie oh. but it was a it had a really dumb name the hit piece it was called like a uh, mega or something mig mig it's the mig that it was called the mig really yeah that's what they went with that doesn't sound like a shark movie at all <clears throat> i would like to see a movie made about scar well actually so far no i don't want to see that Rare says, just tuned in. Shark's on the menu today. Shark is on the menu. Today. It is all that's on the menu. Uh, the whole menu is shark. But I hope your stomach can handle evil. Yeah, evil. And helicopters. Apparently helicopters arriving uh, in, in quite a number here. So she's trying to sell <clears throat> Scar to a genetics lab or something, or she's planning to make so. a lot of money based on the fact that she has proven that she can combine this DNA, and then she's going to get dough for that. She's going to get huge she's buckets of get cash. Paid up. She's going to get huge buckets of cash. But they also said that they were hosting other animals like killer whales and yeah. dolphins and stuff like that. But fuck all that. For well, what purpose? I only care about the shark here. Uh, Dr. Munitz had his bottlenose dolphins delivered to Pen 3, soon to be experimented for <laughs> Navy research. <laughs> they had just experimented. <laughs> They've just been experimented. <laughs> what experiments? <laughs> Like teaching them how to drop bombs or defuse <laughs> missiles or like what are you doing? Like, or is it like a genetic thing? Like, what's going on? Th they've just been experimented. <laughs> Soon to be experimented for Navy research. The sh Scar is the only genetic hybrid. Okay, <laughs> I didn't actually expect the others to be, but. <laughs> I, maybe I gave this book a little bit too much clout in the beginning because it's not making a lot of sense so far. <laughs> Who's Jeremiah? That got eyes on the Jeremiah. She's it's a boat. Boat, I guess. Jeremiah Must be a, a boat. boat. Where this shark is. Transfer the specimen. His accent was Belgian. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Do a do a Belgian accent for me, <laughs> like. <laughs> no. Whoa! 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 She saw, saw the look on his eyes before he turned away. Just another self-important bitch on her high horse. <laughs> what? So, and then she says, so what if I am? She didn't get this way by kissing ass and settling for a second like others she knew. You don't get to the top of the shark chain. The shark, the shark genetic research division by kissing ass. You no. have to... You got to... I don't know what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just he's so interested in but sharks that you don't get to the top by ki by by settling for second. No, no, of course no, not. No, you don't. <laughs> it's literally yeah, shark, shark ate your brother, brother, ate your sister, <laughs> ruined two marriages, <laughs> destroyed your relationship with your parents. That's how you know that. Spent my whole life studying sharks. What? Whoa! What? Th this book is insane. What? <laughs> keep reading. Keep. I wanna, <laughs> like, what are its vitals? Heart rate, blood vitals pressure, are. movement. I know what vitals are. Captain replied. The the next part. It killed two of my crew. <laughs> it came right out of the water and pulled them back in. We had to shock it into submission. Uh, 
What do you mean? That's, what do you right, mean? So we're at we're at two now for the shark body count. That's two. Yeah. Just sedate the thing and hook it up. Hook a pump to it. <laughs> Captain scoffed. He just told this woman that two of his crew were recently slaughtered. <laughs> And to her, it was no more than mere inconvenience. Look, you, you don't get to the top by caring about other people. No, no. I mean, this is shark stuff. We're doing genetic shark shit. You yeah. Know? You've got no time. You don't get to the top by caring about other people, right? <laughs> they were just a few sentences into this conversation and already he had checked out. Nice. That's usually how I Me too. these books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to collect his money and then, yeah. I mean, I'm on board with the captain, to be honest. Yeah. Why? Why is the shark in a in a in an open pool where the, it can jump out and reach people? <laughs> it just it just came out of the water and pulled them back in, like a as sharks do, yes, as we know well, they do, as yeah, we know they they're do. They're very dexterous creatures. I know they're nimble, <laughs> uh, but I I don't understand. Like so that you got a boat and then there's like a pool in the middle of it where shark where is. crewmates just amble about. And the, the, the crew walks around the edge very precariously. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, by chance, sometimes, uh, you, one of them might get snatched. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we tried sedating it. It's difficult to penetrate its skin. It's difficult. <laughs> As we know about sharks. Megalodon's notorious for having very thick skin. Oh, so yes. combine that with the... Uh, you know, uh, the body snatcher, Great White, and you've got the <laughs> ultimate killing machine. Yeah. We tried sticking it in the mouth, but it just comes after us. Just don't stand near the tank. Yeah, just let it. It's like running around the boat after you, I yeah, guess. Yeah, but like. <laughs> I hope there's a movie made about this. I hope there's several movies. I want to see a shark. Reach up out of the water and grab people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Teslas, you know, coming into your house at night. You know? <laughs> yeah, in your bedroom. They're going to infect the, the food. Hundred pound tuna. The creature splashed in its pool. Its eyes were red. This is the best. I already read this one. Like the, the... like it was born out of some satanic ritual. <laughs> it's an evil shark. The captain had heard that somehow the genetic crossover had screwed with the fish's color and skin texture. But going by how evil it was, he was sure Satan had his hand in it somewhere. Satan got his hand into it. He made it's, the shark evil. It's, it's Satan, as we know, a uh, big shark head. Oh, uh, yes, big shark <laughs> fan, bit of a shark feet. Yeah, and, and you know, if you're going to genetically create uh, sharks, and, well, Satan's going to slip a, he's going to slip a finger in, you know, yeah, he's uh, taint it with evilness. <laughs> Red eyes, that means it's evil. Demon shark, indeed. So it, it does, it like literally launches out of the thing. It breached it's, the water and landed its upper body on the deck. It like launches out and grabs people. Bro, why is Olivia such a bitch? <laughs> she just, she just wants to get to the top. Is she doing it for the paycheck though? Or the like shark <laughs> club? That's what I'm it. interested the in. The second victim wasn't even standing at the edge. He was at least, at least six feet back, but the shark still got him. And thrashed its body back into the pool. Now nobody was going. Nobody was willing to go within fifteen feet of the pool. <laughs> it eyed the gift with its red eyes. I'm sad that we didn't get like the the mutation scene like you know when oh the, yeah that the, the scientist is like you know we have to go more more genetic power you know and he, she thrusts the lever up and her assistant's going no it's too evil yeah. you know <laughs> it's, it's already evil 
We don't add more megalodon, you know. <laughs> Reduce the megalodon. We we can't, you know. Yeah. And then and then Satan <laughs> slips that finger in, and boom, you've created. Uh, That's a shame too. Maybe this is like a flash forward, though. Maybe we'll get that scene. Mm. This is like an intelligent shark too. They're saying like they're trying to trick the fish into thinking that the tuna is alive, but there was no way to mimic a heartbeat. The, and the shark wants live prey, so it's like it's like smart enough to know that it's just like a dead fish. So we've got a a super evil, super intelligent shark that can fly out of its pool basically and grab its victims. I'm more interested in the the getting back to the pool part because <laughs> right? I imagine that a shark can jump out of the water. Quite oh yeah, well. I've seen it. Uh, you know, you've um, seen it. I, I I have seen it. You know, uh, this shark is launching out of a, a pool. I don't. We don't know. We don't have a, a size on Gar yet, but well, I assume it's somewhere in between Megalodon and Great White Shark. I mean, he must be huge. Like, how big is this boat? Like, if he can launch, like you saw how uh, deep you could, the I, shark I was just to breach, like I don't know, three bit. feet. Yeah. And this guy, uh, he's he's grabbing people at fifteen feet from the pool. Yeah. So he's got, you know, he's got quite a bit of. <laughs> <laughs> <He's good. laughs> oh my god. Well, let's assume that uh, the Jeremiah is a massive, uh, it's a, it's <laughs> a big old boat. And, I don't uh, think the demon shark cares about basic physics. Probably not. It also doesn't, well, Satan doesn't, you know, Satan slipped a finger in there. And yeah, it's, uh, Satan yeah. doesn't care about physics. I like, I, I like the idea of Satan just, like, <laughs> in all the places that he could slip a finger in and meddle with human activity. It'd be in the shark. It would be in the shark genetic the industry. The shark domain, yeah. yeah. This is the perfect area where I can really cause some havoc. <laughs> the captain never wanted to punch a woman in his life, but this Dr. Olivia Zoller was walking that fine line. Yikes. <clears throat> They're going to push a person in, right? Olivia is going to push the captain in. She's just like, human life doesn't compare to her need to feed this beast. No, I do, and why should it? large red scar crossed its right eye, a gift from its genetic brethren, women it had slaughtered during infanthood. <laughs> so... This is like the top dog. Yeah. Top shark. Top shark. I'm just waiting for the end of the... <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Did you already finish reading this chapter? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't I, I had trouble actually understanding this scene because I'm I don't know what they're, they're trying to get the shark out of the pool. Yeah, but like <clears throat> Isn't there something where if you turn a shark upside down, it goes like, it's, it's like... It's, Catatonic or something? Yeah. I thought all you had to do was like, poke its nose. I don't know. No, I think I, I think that's like a fallacy or something that... If you <laughs> it punch shows what shark, I know, I mean. <laughs> if you no, punch not shark, punch them, but just like... Like if Bop. you... Yeah. <laughs> well, if you just Oi. like rub them or something. <laughs> if you whisper Satan's secrets into <laughs> its ear. Yeah. That's going to make them go on a killing spree. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, the the shark's gonna. <laughs> that scarf is blood red. Is where those eyes. It's pretending to be sedated. Just looking at the beast, it was obvious that the nature had didn't intend it for this world. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for the underworld, but yeah. like this, not this one. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, they're trying to strap it. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Sudden twitch caused them to back away. The shark's entire body jolted as though hit with a spark of light. Attracted to their beating hearts. Imagine being the captain and you have to go tell the uh the the crewmates wives that uh the this uh you know <laughs> that they have lost their lives. Uh and then they'll say, so, "What, what, what happened? You know, what, 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 uh, what's going on?" And 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 say, "Well, we were transporting a satanic shark <laughs> uh, for a genetic research uh, that's really going to bring in some hot dollars." Yeah, uh, you know, and um, yeah, it, it jumped out of the it's uh, it, gobbled, it gobbled and, up your husband and snatched him. It just got him. Yeah, it got him with the <laughs> got, him. <laughs> got him with the fins. 32 feet. That's how big 32 it is. 32 foot. Uh, what, what is that in like shark terms? Uh, can I get a reading on how big a great white is? Biggest. Great white. I'm sure they'll be like 20 foot or something. Weighing two tons. Queen of the ocean. Big fucking shark. Uh, 17 feet long. Yeah, it's 17 foot, 20 foot. Okay, so if we if we say biggest biggest fucking sharks out there at the moment, 20 feet long. Yeah, that's like that's like the biggest shark. That's like 17 feet. This is a what did it say? 32 feet. So uh, double basically. It's twice the size of this shark here. Bad. Not bad at all. It's quite big. Kind of expecting them to be bigger. Well, I don't know. I I think in the reduction of size, you have an increase in evil, right? Like, oh yes. Yeah, because you can have like you can have a, a a massive shark, but then it's like just you know it doesn't have enough evil in it. Yeah, it's just in that leviathan category of sort of a you know roaming beasts that oh, you yes. can avoid. But what we're talking about here is a evil shark, you know, mm. and that's much more palpable because you might assume. Oh, it's Bred so, by Satan himself. Uh, it's not so big. What what do I need to worry about it? And that's when you come close to the pool's edge. You're like, it's only 32 foot. It's not really too scary, you know? And then and then it, it, it comes out. It comes out. It comes out and it snatches you. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, it's got the, the, the clothing of its victim in its teeth. <clears throat> so it's no longer on the ship. <clears throat> oh, but it's not sedated. Pissed off and panic. <laughs> Scar awoke with a vengeance. Now it was thrashing its entire body like a bass on a fishing line. Only this fish had enough power in a single swing of its tail to cave in a car. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> holy moly okay <laughs> new threat established <laughs> vehicles will not protect you no <laughs> warning if you see this shark do not stay in your vehicle no uh, it doesn't exit matter. your vehicle exit your vehicle it will destroy it with one swing of its tail the only thing to do in uh, to protect yourself from scar is to somehow stop your heart from beating because he only wants live bait yeah but i mean how could you do that with the terror Oh, shit. He's broken free. <laughs> it's, it's gums as red as its eye. It's got red eyes, guys. <laughs> the pressure of its weight and ferocity. Demon Shark could crush the murder Tesla, noted. 
<laughs> I would love to see that crossover, actually. <laughs> Murder Teslas and uh, Gar the Demon Shark. Also, uh, just FYI, uh, the it's Cordial Fern uh, smacked one of the lab assistants with the rapport of a gunshot. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! And then his skull implodes. I missed that on the first pass. So so he whacks him with the tail. He gives him a slap. And so then, hard that he hits the hull of the ship and, and his head explodes. explodes. I I was talking shit on the shark before, but it's just proved its worth in combat. Yeah. Shark wiggled its body like a snake. Ah, uh, serpentine. Yeah. So he's out. He's uh, he's out of the platform. <laughs> she she doesn't care. That last line of this chapter is so good. She had assured the CEO that it would be a simple process and that this company would thrive based on the research. <laughs> You're thriving on that research. Yeah, I'm going to bring you a shark and it's going to pay out the big bucks. Yeah, <laughs> the whole company will thrive. Now she may as well brought him a tub of minnows. She had nothing. The crew of both the station and the ship stood in stunned silence. All at once, they absorbed the reality of what they had just witnessed. Scar had escaped and was free to roam the ocean and kill at his leisure. <laughs> now the whole world, now all the ocean is his, his, uh, his domain. domain. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we've got an evil shark on the loose. After first chapter, Doctor Olivia, I've uh, got Zola, my Doctor Zola. Please yeah. uh, contain your sharks better next time. I've already gotten my like meat out of the story. I mean. That one scene is. You want to drop it? <laughs> oh, no, that's all. I, that's all I expected it to reach, and it's already there, so yeah. it can only go up. No, yeah. Or actually, it could go down. Oh yeah. yeah. She was still reeling from the loss. He's already out a million bucks. The bastards spoke like any other, many others who thought they owned her. Her father, her ex-husband, her in-law. <laughs> you just imagine, all these people are trying to tell her, look, Olivia, you've, you've got to get up the sharks. He literally just said, I'm out a million dollars. Please look me in the eye and, you know. And she's <laughs> like, you're, you're trying to own me. You, you don't own me, man. Mr. Man. Mr. Man. I'm the queen of sharks. After all, who else had successfully crossed the gene with different species? Yeah, and you also lost the it. fucking species immediately and had many people die in the process? Right, Wait, but... uh, so the shark body count is at three, four? But we look at this. Nothing, the, uh, the, the gene stuff means nothing to Skomo. Only money. Money came from results, and the only results that ca uh, counted were the ones he could show to his investors. Right. You just go to your investors and say, okay, we've got the shark. And then you just start printing money? Well, the investors, they invest in the company. Company makes evil shark or big shark. Money is made. So they have to get the shark back. But I'm not rooting for this company. I think they're a piece of shit. I'm not rooting for the Do Dr. Zola. Am I'm, I supposed to? I'm rooting for the shark. Demon shark versus Sas uh, Sasquatch on manatees. Who would win? Well, actually, I'm pretty sure this what? author might actually have a book covering that in <laughs> yeah, fair yeah. detail. Hey, there it was a, a Bigfoot book. book. There was a Bigfoot book, which we may have to read. Yeah. Who would win, though? I don't know. Uh, Beasts, War of Dreams, manatees, and the Sasquatch. Pretty good team up. Yeah. I haven't seen enough of Demon Shark to know what he can really do against another, like, Reacher. He's got gunshot fins. Yeah. They hit you. It's, it's, you're as good as dead. He can smash a whole car with his tail. 
Uh, he's a body snatcher. Yep. He'll snatch anybody. Uh, 15 foot uh, required distance between you and a wa- uh, piece of water, yep. body of water, to ensure your safety. And I'm skeptical even about that. Mm. Um, That's just uh, one account. He's got some sort of heartbeat sensor, so <laughs> <laughs> he can tell between yeah. the living and dead. He only wants I don't know. Meat. Early assessment is uh, that shark, demon shark's got the win, but... Well, I give him about uh, two years swimming around in our current oceans before he dies of... Uh, eating too much plastic <laughs> in all honesty uh, the shark's not entering the the best climate right now to, to be, be honest, a shark he was probably better off in the containment because i mean there's a lot of live food around yeah <laughs> easy <laughs> you know just like uh dock workers fishermen you know people who can just like gobble up get them out in the local. ocean i don't know i mean who's out there no one's out there Really out there who could feed an evil demon shark uh other than i assume because it's so large it's gonna need to eat a lot or maybe it's just like you know satanic powers or have en- enabled the shark to continue like it just it wants to kill it doesn't want to eat oh <laughs> <laughs> it just says a lust to kill yeah uh it could be that it could be that He's not concerned with eating so much. He'll just, you know, he'll eat his fill, but he's really, he, he, he hungers for the kill. He hungers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to get into the mind of a shark that's been blessed by Satan, and I'm coming up short. ScoMo is a very strange name for a company. Like, they I sound like they... the kind of company that could make a decent little profit off of a demon shark. <laughs> Do they do the satanic ritual? Without that shark, I might not have any use for you. <laughs> oh yes, he's a misogynist. He got several people killed as being criticized for it. That's misogyny. I can create more hybrids. as evil as Scar. Grow a new specimen. We have the resources, we have the technology, we have Satan's blessing. I have investors coming to inspect. Investors for what? What are they investing in? People like this need to see the specimen in the flesh. They need to be. They need to be convinced that the that the shark that the shark is real. Coming in and missing the first chapter. Very intrigued by the talk of the demon sharks. Well, I will get you up to speed. We've got a lady who who she crossed the genes of a of a megalodon with a great white shark. And she's selling it to her company. There's investors involved, and and they expect to make a a big profit off of having this giant shark, which is supposedly very evil, and it has red eyes, and could probably fight a, a manatee army ridden by Sasquatches. Um, jury's out on that one, but that's kind of where we're at. Got a demon, demon shark, shark, and he's loose. He's loose in the ocean. And and Skomo, they're out of their paycheck, I guess. <laughs> they invest in demon sharks. The logical next step of warfare. <laughs> well, they they were talking earlier in the book about uh, other researchers uh, having their own um, experimenting with experimenting the dolphins things, mm-hmm. but it just says they had dolphins for experiments military uh, military experiments yeah what experiments are they strapping guns to dolphins now uh, i mean you you would think After cold nuclear war comes the next evolution. <laughs> you say that like it's not the next. Yeah, I mean, this is where we're headed. Well, 
I kind of want to make sure that that's a, an element of this book. Like, I don't want this to be a book about them going to find the shark and then Skomor getting its payday. I want I want someone else to come in and, and you know, give the shark what it wants. Human flesh. <laughs> but I just... I don't know, like, this this book so far hasn't created any reason for me to... Like, sh the, the main character is just oh, pissed she's off awful. at... Yeah, she's just pissed off at every single guy. Well, this is something I kind of have a problem with because everyone is telling okay even if i try to side with the soulless executive who wants to profit off of a demon shark mm. they're just telling her we paid for something and you lost it and she is interpreting that as you're another man in my way you're yeah. doing this because i'm a woman yeah which he said he okay. was out a million bucks could you please look him in the eye and and she's like misogynistic prick provide this man with a shark of demon prowess, mm. and you shall be rewarded. That mm. is, that seems to be the only element here. There could be demon manatees out there. We just don't know. Scientists say that the ocean is vast and unexplored. I also want to point out that this this is all this guy writes. Right? Yeah, that, like he it's writes monster deep sea, stuff, deep, deep sea thrillers, and. <laughs> Well, here there's some dinosaur. Yeah, some some like he he strays from the deep sea sometimes. Yes, but I was kind of expecting a little bit more. You know, if you've written the same book over and over and over, maybe you can come up with like a bit of, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> it's, it's, it's an evil shark. You can tell how evil it is because of its eyes. They've been tracking him. He's headed for the east coast. <laughs> Why? It's where the tastiest. These slippery little CEOs, I mean, they just don't understand. Rewrite of manatee murders where the manatees are doing the murdering. It's true, we have not gotten to a rewrite of manatee murders yet, and I think it is in sore need of one. <laughs> They're touching the sacred. <laughs> <laughs> they got a little bit of a spotlight and Beasts were of dreams. A little bit, yeah, yeah. But uh, <coughs> they really need to be thrust into the. But you, 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 you turned them into a joke. You know, you, you didn't give them, you didn't give them the they were seriousness. The, they were they the pinnacle <laughs> of, of the Sasquantian victory. More helicopters. Helicopters really are the only way to travel. No. Well, I mean, <laughs> not not quite as fast as a as a speedboat. Speedboat. Uh, I I I was actually wondering if we're going to see speedboats in this. Oh, I mean, it's a pretty big chance. They, you know, this is an aquatic uh, mystery. Being in a helicopter makes sharks far less threatening, uh, because. I mean, how far is the <laughs> shark going to launch out of the water? Look, I mean, with the infinite depth to draw from, he can launch, I mean, any height. This guy, he was going 15 feet in we've a already small pool. Seen, we've already seen the... We've already seen photo evidence of sharks of a much smaller and, and much less evil uh, inclination <laughs> launching out of the water to reach objects. Uh, yes, at and, significant heights. Yes. So are we going to see... And what I'm hoping to see is... Shark, a helicopter goes too low. Yeah. Shark comes up. Too high. Too high. Snatches someone or grabs the helicopter and pulls it into the, the blue, the, the ocean blue. That's almost too cool. And I think it's not going to be featured. Too cool? Yeah. Too cool? That's a little too, that's a little too, like, good, I think. Someone, something that no one's ever said. I need to go to Smithfield, Virginia now. <laughs> it's that scene from Hitchhiker's Guide with the dolphins, but it's just Scar launching himself into space. <laughs> Scar had traveled a hundred miles in just a few short hours. Remember those uh, those bad Photoshop edits of giant sharks attacking helicopters that everyone somehow believed? That's what I want. We won't need Photoshop for for this tale. Oh, I think wait, it, remember those? Wait, 
Can we can we get a can an we get ocular a, on that? I've yeah, not seen what them. Is that? I've not Shark seen them. I'd, see I'd what like, Google pulls up. I'd Shark like, attacking helicopter. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to make that assessment on my own. Yeah. <laughs> See what we got here. Now That's this definitely photoshops. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's not Photoshop. Ah, oh, there's the shark. Th there, it is. <laughs> circle that one. That's definitely not photoshopped. That one this is, is from a reputable source, www.30bananasaday.com. I can't argue with that. That helicopter is extremely low to the to the water. Now I've I've never piloted a helicopter myself. Um there's the shark. That's just a helicopter. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm it? not going to say that that's not, I, I don't, not. No, I mean like they're just efficient vehicles. Yeah, they're real. Now, see, his, his problem, problem with these sharks is that they're big, but they're not evil enough. Where are the red eyes? <laughs> that's, also, that's also a helicopter. It's got geo rotors. Oh, yes. Black shark KA50 that, that, assembled and painted model. That is a shark helicopter Heli hybrid. It's, it's a shark helicopter, yeah. This is like this is like scar. Oh, genetic. there's a there's a werewolf version of it too. Oh. I was hoping for some cool paint. Now it seems Now that this. seems to be a shark. <laughs> this is a shark helicopter. But the, <laughs> <laughs> the helicopter uh, jumping uh, out of the water. Making a breach itself. And the man climbing into the shark. <laughs> yeah. Now that image is not Photoshop. Can I get a red circle around that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a 3D modeled helicopter. These are just helicopters at this point. There may be something like the the helicopter is called Shark. Oh shark yeah, I did not expect to see that. Thoughts, questions, and interpretations. It's pretty cool. I, <laughs> I, mean, I gotta it's say, pretty sweet. It's a pretty cool idea. <laughs> I'm a little bit I like confused how he, as to why. Look at his like he even has an ear hole that's like a speaker system. Look at that. We get a close up on it. Yeah, you're right. He does have a little got like a little thing. His cockpit face. Cockpit face. Those guys seem pretty happy. To now be. this comes to us from worth1000.com, another <laughs> very highly <laughs> reputable source. Oh my god! Right, let's get back to the. Let's get. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What I don't know. That? We're seeing a lot of cool stuff here. What was that one? Yeah, what is that? That seems to be uh, some sort of Lego uh, shark attacking a helicopter in a pool. Yes. Now that kind of seems like what we the scene that we just saw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was like the first chapter. Yeah. But hopefully, we'll get um, something along those lines. I would love to see a um, shark copter. Those look like they circulated Facebooks <laughs> in 2014. <laughs> yeah. The, the best time to be a shark slash helicopter enthusiast. <laughs> the, the golden years. Yeah, <laughs> the golden years. <laughs> shark helicopter hybrid would be a way more interesting book. The main drawback of a shark army eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. I would. I actually want to see that now. The the. Sh the shark copter. <clears throat> okay, she's getting a chopper. 100 miles in a few hours. Time and distance had mean no meaning to him. Just in the insatiable urge to feed. <laughs> Instinct. <laughs> I like how we're getting the perspective of the shark now. Yeah. 
prey was sparse in the open ocean. See? And his biological design prevented him from traveling into the crushing depths. His biological Why? design. I guess, like, you know, some uh, uh, marine creatures are not adapted to the water pressure oh, below true, a certain yeah. point, so they stay away from certain depths. He's got like, he's got like sensors, sensor tech. Yeah, he's got a heartbeat sensor. I never questioned why he was so hungry so often. He didn't have the mental capacity. <laughs> All that mattered was survival and a violent need to slaughter any living creature that came within reach. <laughs> Scar leveled up from slaughtering all those sailors. He unlocked trans-dimensional travel. I would like to see Scar's skill tree. What kind of tech is he working with? A violent need to slaughter any living creature. It's a grouper. Uh, grouper a three is, feet yeah. grouper. <laughs> and it also tells us that the, the grouper had eaten some crabs. <laughs> yeah. It's the grouper. The grouper's eating the crabs. That's that's the marine ecosystem. Yeah. Presence like a torpedo being fired into oh enemy my God. waters. He's an in, he's like an invader, like he invades them. Yeah. This is a feeding scene. Yeah, he eats a grouper. And, uh, but okay, so it says that the... Let's get some dimensions going here. So we've got a grouper three feet long. Yo. Three feet, yeah, that's like that's like this. That's like... Oh, no, it's got to be... It's like three, a foot. Yeah, foot, so somewhere like here. Yeah. And he's got... <laughs> but this shark is 32 foot long. Yeah, yeah? That's Which means nothing. I'm thinking width-wise. I mean, and if you look at sharks... They're actually quite like tubby, you know, they're like very wide compared oh, yeah. to their length, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming that this shark has a, a jaw width of like five, six feet. I was wondering actually why he's using his teeth at all. He could just gobble it up. Yeah, he could just swallow that shit whole, right? He could gobble up a man. Go great white shark jaw width. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because, you know, you see those pictures of like people standing in the mouth of like a... A shark a jaw? I'm sort of coming around to the understanding that all images of sharks are photoshopped. Why? Because they are they have rotor blades attached to their <laughs> fins. <laughs> yeah. That's like a, a great white shark jaw? That's a great white shark jaw. And that's a guy standing next to it. Now, you're telling uh, me that... He's like, he's like two or even, three groupers. At yeah, least. like that's... Uh, <laughs> and this, this shark... Uh, you, you, Work out your dimensions. This shark is 32 foot long and it has to rip a grouper up. Nah, boy, that thing just swallows that shit whole. Right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Get here. She's very happy about this photo <laughs> shit. I'm, I, I see things like this and I'm like, for what purpose was this taken? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I guess... For this explicit purpose, to show the dimensions of a, a grouper-hungry shark. I mean, a grouper's, yeah, like, like one-third the size of a man. <laughs> groupers can get very big, though. But uh, that, that one of my things is, like, why tell me dimensions of the creature if you're going to then, like, make it... Then you're gonna flip it on its head and go like, show me a scene where I your the dimensions don't make any sense, right? Yeah. Like and okay, what about this? The shark is thirty-two foot long, and the people have to be fifteen feet away. That's half of the shark's length. <laughs> that's that's big time stupid, guys. At least be thirty-two foot away. <laughs> At least! <laughs> that means he's only coming halfway out of the he's water. He's only coming halfway and out. And if he can launch himself out at, at, at full a full breach. Yeah, full breach. I mean, this guy, I, I would say he's got the potential to reach someone like 
50 feet away. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like, I, I mean. Wonder, can we get a metric on like, what's this, the, the size of a shark compared to its breach factor? And we know, we know from this that he can swim like just his like cruising speed is like 25 kilometers per hour because it I says mean, his, he goes his tail like, slap is like a gunshot yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> it says that he travels a hundred miles or whatever in a few hours so let's say 25 miles per hour that's his cruising speed so he can launch out of the water let's say at full tilt double that he can do a 50 mile per hour water bridge that's why i wonder at like the size of the boat he's there's not going to be 25 miles of space and he can smash cars with his tail i would v- feel very afraid he smashed a man's skull the- open with just whiplash <laughs> yeah <laughs> Don't tell me the dimensions of the creatures if you're going to then fuck it up so dramatically. This shark, you need a massive distance. He's shrinking and expanding in ways that don't make sense. Like, I imagine that it would be very difficult to split a grouper in two if it's only three feet long. Because, like, his bite would have to be half of that, at least. Yeah, and we're actually only comparing this to, like, you so know, the, his, the dimensions. His bite, his bite is so... It's a one-foot bite. Yeah. A one-foot bite on a 32-meter... It's like a snake. <laughs> it's a snake! I knew it was a snake. But that's the thing, is we're looking at... We're thinking, what? imagine a, a real shark was as big as this shark. Yeah. 32 feet. Yeah. We didn't even consider how evilness works into i mean that's got to add at least like 30 feet to his jump range yeah well with uh, he's half megalodon and we know megalodon one quarter of satan yeah (laughs) satan slipped a finger in there so i you keep saying that and i'm wondering where is he slipping the finger into the shark (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) not in its mouth skills it's skills there's red eyes yeah Mighty Jaws. He's eating another shark now. I love how it says, like, he swallows and pressed on. Like, I just... Because... All the shark is going to do is eat. A shark is, like, such a killing machine. I don't really imagine it going... You know, I just don't get that image in my head. To me, a shark just eats, like, it does a bite, and it's already in the stomach. You're like, there is no, you know. But uh, maybe I'm misinterpreting. Uh, I think we're going to be reminded constantly that he likes to feed. I think that's all Scar is going to do, is eat. Yeah. He's only, he's eating the shark now, and a grouper. He's partly satisfied. He's going after some fish. Not worth the effort, the fish. Unless he was starving. He needs something to sink his teeth into. There's literally not that much out there that is... That even edible to him. He's too big. Too big for the ocean. He should have stayed in the cage. Like, I'm starting to think that even a person would be too small. Like... We got an octopus. One of the most intelligent species. Scar was partially satisfied, and even if he was fully satisfied, there would be still his desire to kill. (laughs) I told you, dude. It's not about eating. It's just about the murder. It's about the slaughter. (laughs) The octopus had successfully outwitted other sharks. How? I don't know. It had no reason to suspect it couldn't outwit the gray-bellied creature gliding above it. Even the smartest of beings make mistakes. Fatal mistakes. I I love that. That's like an uh, analogy for the doctor, the good doctor. Oh, yes. Big brains can still make mistakes. She was blinded by money. And Satan? Satan? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Satan's cash. He's impaled the the octopus with its teeth. The teeth saw the cephalopod, ripping away tentacles and chunks of tissue as though it were cotton. Uh, Why? Just like, can he just swallow swallow an octopus? He's huge. 
He didn't feel glee from the success or frustration from failure. His brain was like a computer, and it was just programmed to kill. <laughs> Damn. What? Satan was the program. He was the <laughs> dev behind that yeah. machine. <laughs> oh my god, what a weird analogy to make for a shark. That's just that's just the normal shark brain, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just a killing and... machine, right? That's the perfect analogy for sharks in general, that they're just killing machines, yet... Uh, killing computer now. It's like, this isn't just a great white shark. This is like a great white shark that's even more mechanical in nature and, and just evil. wants to kill. It's evil. And it's got red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, <laughs> even though it's 32 foot long, only has a one foot bite. I gotta say, like, I was really excited that we were gonna get like, the, the shark perspective chapter, but this is like the worst part of it so far. Yeah, it's pretty boring, to be honest. This was mechanical. Artificial, like the machines used to... Yes, sharks are, are killing, killing machines. machines. We get it. Humans are food. Humans are food. Or sharks. Satan out here with his MacBook hacking shark brains. <laughs> <laughs> got a point. Good point. I also, he's got his. Isn't there something on. that like sharks don't actually like, like human people with food? Well, evil sharks love to eat people. Well, if you have a desire to kill, uh, then any kill is. You'll good. kill anything. No, you'll, you'll just kill. kill. But not small fish, because that's... they're not worth the effort. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Randy's in this book, by the way. Oh, Randy's back. <clears throat> oh, we got a jet ski in here. I yeah. knew we were going to get some sort of jet-powered uh, marine vehicle. <laughs> Tro Troy, Troy Beerman. Troy Beeman. This is such a bad name. He completely, he completed another sharp turn, squinting as the ocean mist sprayed his face. Whoa! Love that. <laughs> He's on a jet ski with his pals. Is he is he gonna eat the jet ski or is he just gonna eat the man? Both men took great pleasure in tormenting the family that decided to have their picnic on the tiny island. Uh, the mother and father set up the blanket under the trees and the formal and. Uh, the former mainly focused on the three-year-old. Already the father was hot-headed and, and two confrontations with the immature drinkers. They skidded past their yacht repeatedly on their way in. Those damn jet skiers. I love how the narration calls people like pricks. Like, yep. <laughs> it's bizarre. Why are we getting so much characterization about these Cretans? Maybe kids from a previous marriage? Troy didn't think so, based on the interactions he witnessed, and she was definitely old enough, though that didn't mean she wasn't hot. Why? Why? What is... is that, that's not relevant, right? Well, that can't there's a relevant. woman in the scene. So she's got to be six appeal. She's got to be eye candy. Yeah. The, b the booze rushed, rushed to his, to his head. head and the blood down to his groin. Yeah. The hot mama. I hate this. I hate this writing. Don't don't do that to me. This is this is what teenagers think. Yeah. Teenagers are just like horny little. But why do it in narration? It makes me go. Oh, the author's a dick. Like... Or or he. He's like. Uh... Women just think men are misogynists. And, and how are and these teens teenagers just ripping like, it around on jet skis? They're just like thrashing it up, dude. Great tits, babe. Great tits, babe. Go freestyle. Take off your top, Randy shouted. She was actually amused. Hot ear blasted from his nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of those... He, 
Women, women will respond to any compliment they get because she's yeah, old. She's old because she's old. She's old, so she, uh, you know, she's she just can't help herself but be flattered by two, yeah. two young teens blasting around saying, "Take your tits out." Mature women's only concern is with their appearance. Uh, yeah, and all women, all women in general. Yeah. <laughs> we what don't is need this obsession like, with like? Oh, she's 40, but she looks like she's 30. Yeah. She, she, yeah. The author knows someone who, like, he's he's put into his story in a weird way. Just get the just get the sharks in there, okay? Get the shark in and eat these people. I don't care about Troy and Randy. Oh, my God. And the, then she presses her, her, presses her chest up against uh, his... Uh, <laughs> this is a deviation. This is how it happens, guys. We we pick up a book on 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 killer sharks, and then uh, then all of a sudden, a uh, you know, uh, hot hot mama uh, is uh, getting a, a, a titty appreciation. Yeah, she's getting her titties out. Yeah, for a couple of young teens in a shark book. I thought the kids were real, like toddlers. Now they're roaring out their jet, ski, jet skis. Who are now laughing hysterically at the misery they caused. What is this? Why is this uh, a scene? This is, you're supposed to get into these characters because they're about to be eaten. They're about to be eaten. And, and uh, we're building their characters so that you like them so that when they get chomped, I hate them. I hate these people. <laughs> I, I hate. I hate the dad. I hate the mum. At this point, I hate the shark. <laughs> what? No, I'm on team shark. I'm on team Olivia. Like, Troy finishes a whiskey bottle, a whole whiskey bottle, and then pulls another one out. Oh. They cheered and whooped, or now almost fully drunk. So this guy <laughs> is down his whiskey bottle. He's on a jet ski, like ripping it on the jet ski. He's She's shredding. already down the whole bottle of whiskey yeah. while doing a very physical activity. Uh, jet skis while you're not, you know, peddling or anything like that. I assume that the exhilaration and, you know, the physical nature of, of being bashed around on the waves... Uh, will be quite exhausting. So you're going to be dehydrated, and your only source of water is coming from this whiskey. That, I mean, not to mention that even... Hey, hot mama! <laughs> get your titties out! <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> That's all the scene is. The blood went down to his groin. <laughs> like, we can't even... Like, we find an author who, like exclusively writes monster fiction and we still can't escape this bullshit well that's the only thing see the problem is is that uh, i think what or what i assume is the issue is that you have a writer yeah you've got a writer he's sitting down he's writing he's got his study or whatever and you know he's writing but he gets horny because he's been alone you know and maybe he's got porn on his second screen i don't know <laughs> he's got sharks on his he's third sharks, screen <laughs> sharks writing porn yeah and then uh you know and he just can't help but slip it in I yeah mean, that's what you want in it's a murder shark crossed. story is get your titties out you know and weird commentary about how old people are proud to be objectified by teenagers and how women don't when they don't get compliments they'll take any compliments even ones from very 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 drunk <laughs> jet ski riders <laughs> god damn it god damn it okay here's the shark he's he's uh, sm yeah his chin smashed the front of the jet ski Oh, he, he takes, takes the, the jet, jet ski, ski with him. That's, That's what I wanted to see. Confusing the voice of the narrator with the character. Tricky thing. It's a tricky thing to to convince me. Yeah, like that. That this isn't your opinion. 
yeah. as a writer, you know, like I, you know, th that you can you can couch the character's perspective in the narration, convince me that like that's not your opinion. Yeah. Well, I, it's one thing if like if the whole narration is from Randy, then yeah, of course, like you know, I would buy that. But the whole ra narration isn't from Randy, and so when it comes to Randy's point in the story where he's saying "woohoo." get your titties out <laughs> and and the narration is going this old bitch you know like she should get it like no that's the author you know that's the author's commentary on this not not randy's women will do anything for compliments anything and <laughs> and the only way he she knows how to calm her husband down is to press herself against because she's only six that's the only thing she's good for right? yes right <laughs> scar is here to save us from those dog shit characters Got a point? Drunk people should die. They should just be killed by sharks. The kids! Is he gonna eat the kids? What? Jet ski. He the, he gets the the yacht with the jet ski, and it catapults him. <laughs> he he get he yeah. Uh, pop that shirt off. Just pop it. The drunkard. Fucking drunk people, dude. Can can drunk people just get like slaughtered already yeah. by sharks? Yeah. <clears throat> oh yes, I've just seen uh, a giant man-eating shark and her man be somersaulted into the air from his jet ski, and I'm concerned with the language my child is using. Yeah. That's just what women do. I mean, they only care about nasty words, even though that when uh, the, the, the teenager was saying, get your titties out, she was like, ee -hee 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 -hee. And then next chapter starts up with fucking Wikipedia pages about the local area. Great. <laughs> blah, 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 man, shark, eat. <clears throat> oh, I see now. Local exposition. Uh huh. Go. He's he. They've got the detective on the case now, sheriff. The problem with like stuff like this, it's introducing the sheriff and where he's from and uh, his favorite part of summer is when idiots fly off their jet skis or something, but like, I never know if this guy is going to be gone in like two pages. Why introduce a character that, and give him this much backstory if he's not 
like really a part of it. The shark's gonna be a hundred miles from here in one scene. I don't care about the Ross Point Island Sheriff Department. I care about the shark. Well, you have to fill out a book, Brady. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Gotta get to 50,000 words. You gotta get them. Somehow you gotta get them. So you just fill it with random... You, you fill it with a chapter where the shark eats a fish. You fill it with a chapter where shark attacks a jet ski rider. Now you fill it with a sheriff being caught up with the events you just saw. Hmm. That's one of my favorite things to read about is when a character goes and learns about the thing you already know about. Hmm. That's good, efficient. The use. classic, the classic. You see the crime happen, and then you see the detective try to work out what happened again after that. <sighs> Great. Yes. Please give me more of that. This guy needs to to stick to the the shock stuff. <laughs> I feel like this is what happens when those is it a problem if I have no female character novels on our writing get redrafted <laughs> <laughs> got a point got a point yeah like You're like I don't have any female characters in my no, book. how do in, I shove right. them in yeah well I have a what busty we... uh, 40 year old mom who looks like she's 30 and just loves to get you know ravaged by teenagers yeah and what else do women hate they hate men let's make her the main thing mm. She, she cares about misogyny. That's why she's in this evil corporate company and yeah. she's a good Women only character. care about things involving their womanhood. Mm. Like their looks and their... Jocks. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just not, <clears throat> not going to read this stuff. Like... They're fishing now. But you're not going to read about how the sheriff has a a, a Ford F-250 uh, sheriff's truck and how he uses that to get around and that ha he has experience from all of his years in the service and how he's seen people fall over and stuff like that. So he knows what he should expect upon arriving at a crime. He's fishing now. If you tell me <laughs> that he's a sheriff, I'm going to expect that he has experience working in the thing that he's uh, very high up in the ranks in doing. You know, um, I'm not sure. We've read books where they're like, he's a, a super e agent, a expert with weapons. And then that's not true <laughs> when, when, they, <laughs> when they show it. It's not true at all. <laughs> if you tell me he's an expert sheriff, I just don't believe you at this point because I've been tricked before. Great, a fishing scene. Well, it's good. Like, it gives you exposition on how he's seen... Uh, one time, some idiot tried barbecuing with a propane grill on his boat while his companion were like, blah, 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 blah. Why? Yeah, why? Why? I don't want to read about that. Give me back to the shark. This is literally like as many pages as the feeding scene got, but it's just the sheriff fucking fishing. And uh, driving past restaurants that are oh, good food, are way overpriced. Uh, 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 okay, thank you. Yep, yeah, he's gone now. Just a, just a good chapter on that. Who is this lady? Who are these people? Why am I learning about them? Just stick with one character. Stick with the doctor and trying to find the shark. I don't care about Lisa Robinson. This isn't a character piece. This is a shark book. Man, this whole chapter. She's oh. a marine biologist. She tracks sharks. What is she gonna do? A 16 foot great white. Take a tuna from her hand. With the gentleness of a toddler. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this sentence? 
She had tracked sharks across the Atlantic, dove along coral reefs, rode on the back fins of bottlenose dolphins, and even experienced a 16-foot great white take a tuna from her hand with the gentleness of a toddler. That's never happened. <laughs> That's not... I, I don't think a shark... Okay, firstly... A great white shark Don't sharks... Just... Con, uh, uh, sharks are in constant motion, yeah? That's how they, like... A breathe as they get constant water through their gills so i find it very hard to imagine shark like you know that, that, that that's not gonna work shark's gonna go bam and keep going <laughs> forward right that's yeah. the only thing they can do <laughs> they're killing machines there is satan on his laptop has designed these creatures <laughs> to be evil we're gonna need a few dozen more characters if this is going to be the shonen anime it deserves to be I would love to see that. Each one's got to progress through the next uh, stage of their education to unlock their new powers. Yeah. <laughs> Killer a, whales. I was sometimes... thinking it was going to be more like a Digimon thing, where like it's like you oh. have you have uh, perhaps like a you know a tiger shark. Next evolution, a great white shark, and then next evolution, uh, you go. Uh, either you get a touch of Satan and then you get a, a touch of Megalodon, some sort of combination, and evil shark, or you get perhaps Jesus's shark has touched another one. Oh, and, yeah, we should oh, get the, like the holy shark. That better be in here. Or like a, 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 like a killer whale gets the touch of Jesus. and like There's a killer whale right here. A there baby, is. There's a baby killer whale. It says killer whales sometimes took an interest in humans. Thoughts? So this the killer whale does have a touch of Jesus. Yeah, but saved the kid. Okay. No, I, sorry, I didn't realize that that was in the book. Now we've got we're back on track, right? Yeah. Sa a satanic shark. Uh, Jesus loving killer whale. <laughs> Sometimes they take interest. Let's not. In let's call it an orca because I I find the name killer whale doesn't. Doesn't do them justice. Yeah, makes them sound evil. Yeah. Even though they're the, they're the animals flinging seals like 50 feet into the sky to play with their food. No, they're cute. You stop that talk. Aren't killer whales like the most devastating? Oh, Charlie, the, the orca has a C-shaped scar on his chin. He's got a scar too. This is going to be a, a battle thing. This is a it shonen is gonna anime. Be, it is, it's going to be Satan Shark versus Jesus Touched Orca. This is a fucking anime. Oh my god. Char uh, the name's Charlie. Charlie and Daisy, the orcas. Uh, <clears throat> Lisa had named him Cutlass, as the curve of his dorsal fin had reminded her of that of a pirate's blade. Okay. Charlie, we're gonna need you to become a killer whale just one more time. No, I gave that life up! I'm a good orca now! <laughs> and then Jesus comes in and says, You must do this, my child. He blesses the orc <laughs> to fight Satan's envoy, the shark. <laughs> the shark. Okay. She's a marine biologist. She takes care of whales. Sheriff asked her out. Gotta be a social fantasy in here. Can't get through your shark book without a social fantasy side plot. Oh my god. So she stood there in her shift dress with a 9mm clutch between her palms. <laughs> the 9mm's in... Oh my god, the 9mm's in box. 
Yeah, but forget that because the sheriff's into her. Don't you want to see them go on dates? No, 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 don't do that to me. Can't get through your shark book without social fantasy. Crap. She's got, but she's got the nine mil. Get this analogy right. She, they're doing target, doing target, instinctively shoots. Sick. Oh yeah. Feminist. Is the sheriff gonna teach her how to love? She says, you know, some guys' equipment is smaller than others. Men have small dicks. Some men, yeah. Yeah. I only go after big. I, I need a megalodon. She needs a killer whale. Needs that. You know that. <laughs> that got a laugh out of her. Did it with the next mag. Full of bullets. Yeah, I usually I when I when I pop the mag in, I usually you know leave a couple of bullets empty. Yeah. So on their first date, he took her shooting. She didn't want to say no, that she was hesitant. Yes, no telling how. Virginia Institution of Marine Science. But he is studying the migration pattern, Greek population, the hemihead population doubled. You would. You, 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 I thought this book was about sharks. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, now we're going to talk about relationships. They're going to do a wu way or one day thing again. My God! Again. Every single time, it's this bullshit. Yeah. Only writers and their social family. The only relationship I want in this book is between Jesus Orca and Demon Shark. <laughs> yeah. You did. Fuck. Yeah, we just we just realized that Kim's mic was muted. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed it now. Best stream. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a will they, won't they subplot and drag this book to the depths. Mm. <clears throat> My god. There hasn't been a single mem mention of a shark in this entire chapter. And it just keeps going to new and new characters, like now Barney's in the mix. 48 years old, with 38 of those years on the water, Barney Gray had a. Why? Why is Barney in the mix now? He had two specialties, fish and chew tobacco. He had been on the water long enough to know that no sharks that were that big or hungry, the only creatures he had seen that could do that were those damn killer whales. That had taken his catch, damaged his equipment, and nearly sunk his boat. Fuck him. Fuck you. I don't care. Show me the shark. He's a good fisherman. He caught a, he caught a bunch of mackerel. Now now she's going to do the uh, will I date Nick or will I date Barney? Oh yeah. But Barney does Nick Nick's the sheriff. Nick Piat's the sheriff. Yeah. And Barney is the spends 38 years on the water, but he hates orca whales. I think there's going to be trouble on the you know, a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this is, uh, uh, now we're back to the sheriff. And he's discovering the jet ski accident. Great. We already, yeah. Yes, they're telling him exactly what we read. But didn't you want a second go on that one? What about the wife? Can we talk about the wife? I'm just waiting until, like, Nick... My Nick God. admires the bust on the wife or something like that. <laughs> uh, they came by and made some lewd remarks. But I think he's used the wrong lewd there. Am I an idiot, or is that true? 
I don't know, I've skipped it. <laughs> like, uh, I do not care about grammatical mistakes, but I haven't seen any real grammatical mistakes, oh, except for... I don't care about any of these characters, they all suck. Where is the shark? The shark is gone. Well, why would you want to read about the shark now? You know, the, the story is done with that aspect. <laughs> it seems like that. Barney doesn't like that the, the whales have stolen his catch. They tore his net out. How to set up a marine uh, a story like this? Why not? Uh... <laughs> Why did we ditch Olivia and Scar for the sitcom couple? <laughs> Man, uh, it's baffling to me. But like, we have experienced this with such fucking consistency that we get a book. It looks like it's going to be awesome. It's about AI-powered speedboat, Tesla stuff. Tesla stuff. It's a social fantasy about a guy uh, trying to get with a girl who is perfect for yeah, him. Yeah, perfect in every way, and there's nothing that should stop them from dating, but they're just not ready. They're, they're not, just ready not ready to, to do love. It. Yeah. And in this story, we get one shark chapter, three social fantasy chapters. Mm. And Barney not, doesn't and not like. Not even with like Olivia. Olivia just hates all men. No, Barney doesn't like whales. Barney doesn't like whales. Nick likes guns. Lisa likes whales. Lisa likes whales. Nick likes Lisa. Yeah. And Lisa likes big megalodon packages. And the nine mil. And the nine mil. Who's going to have the biggest shark in the tank? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always... And I love how, like, you can always tell when it's a guy writing it because the guy's like, women care about dick size. Oh, you know, yeah. Women want big dicks. They, lay, they care about uh, dick size, uh, compliments from teens. Yeah, com rude comments. It's always a winner with And women. they care about gaining men's respect. That's yeah. all, win uh, that's all and women And when, when women pass a certain age point, they'll take any compliments. Doesn't yeah. matter how rude it is. You know? yeah. They'll take anything. Yeah. Now we're going through the scene where uh, everyone doubts that it was a shark. It was definitely a whale, even though we know it was a shark. You, like, you, you, tip for writers. Your story should be two steps ahead of yeah. the reader. Mm. We are like six steps ahead of this story yeah. where we're sitting around... The last like, where's the shark? The We've already seen the scene, and they're three chapters into just discovering the jet ski accident. Yeah, the, the last piece of information we got about the shark's whereabouts was at the jet ski attack, yeah? If you need a and scene like this... That, that's where the story stopped, and now we've got this much to catch of, up. of catch up, and then like we're now getting back. So Not what just was, catch up, like being introduced to new characters who yeah, catch up with it. Yeah. And also have relationship stuff going on between them. I mean, you gotta oh, right. you gotta get to fifty k. Right. Because I really picked up Scar to read about that, didn't I? I look, I, I I picked up a book called Scar with a shark on the cover, and I said, hey, maybe this has got some good relationship stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can take this and reflect on my own relationship. Yeah. <laughs> How can I use this to get with that hot sheriff? Yeah, yeah. With the me megalodon package. <laughs> We're just going to end up making the same episode as <laughs> Ghost Rider. Well, let's not, uh, you know, it's 15%. Right? Yeah, 15%. My God. If there isn't a mention, if Scar doesn't come back by like 25%, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Nets are like the devil to them. <laughs> what is this? Like, you know, this is a scientist thing, I suppose, but the most annoying part of the whole interaction was him calling them whales. They're dolphins, technically. At least he didn't refer to them as fish. 
Oh right, what a dummy. Unlike me, I totally knew killer whales were not whales. Why are they called that? Just an old misconception. This is, this is dialogue. Imagine if this was a scene in Jaws. Imagine if Jaws was like 30% bullshit, social fantasy. My god. Like, it's gotta be easier to write the shark stuff, right? It's gotta be easier to write, like, and then he, you know, went after the grouper and the fish and stuff. But the hunger was not sated. He had a, he needed warm blood. Or yeah, like, like yeah, it's gotta just, be easier to write that than this. And then he smelled, pages and you know, pages. and then give me a scene. Okay, take me to the beach on the east or west coast, wherever he's going. Of, you know, have the people there, like, you know, uh, Bouncing around. Maybe there's a reason that. Uh, so maybe Olivia is going. I think I know where the shark's going. You know. No, she's uh, not even in the story. We, we we found the we found megalodon remains in this area. So maybe it's gonna go back to that area. Wow. I I think I know where it's gonna be. I'm writing this story better. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. You're absolutely right. It's like at the end of the jet ski scene, the story has stopped. And now, then like, you get, what are we reading? Then? You get Barney, and you get Nick, and you and get Lisa. And Lisa. And they're all having fun together. They're a little triangle. Yeah, they're in a little triangle thing. And that it's it's kicking off. They're having a lot of fun, you know. Yeah. And she's a you know an attractive young uh, lady and, and She likes and, whales. Yeah. And, they're uh, not really whales. Uh, they're, they're dolphins. dolphins. <laughs> hey guys, since you're all so smart, maybe you can help me convince Dr. Robinson to go to dinner with me tonight. Lisa looked back at her, over at him. You could try asking me first, she said. You keep saying you're busy. Now I've met the culprits who are monopolizing your time. So another case of they're perfect for each other, no, but, but they just, just can't. They're not together know, because you know they're just not like uh, she's. She, a, she's more in love with her work than yeah, she is she, with the man. Uh, yeah, but she's got the nine mil. She's got the nine. She likes shooting the nine mil. How much like do we get into this book before we say it's like? Like well, I, I was honestly very surprised that it took this turn because the, this guy has like it a It dropped whole, off so hard. Yeah, like he had, he's written 20 books about this subject. And he's he looked like a, a stand-up guy. Maybe that's the thing we have to be wary of because Ghost Rider also looked like I write books about coastal intrigue, murder mysteries on the high seas. And what is it with people on the coastlines? that They just <laughs> suck at writing apparently. <laughs> And like, I think if we find another theme writer, we have to be careful of like, that the theme they're selling is not the theme they're actually writing about. I mean, I would, I, I treat very precariously of someone who's written 20 books on anything. I mean. Oh yeah. My God. This is, yeah, another character. Pete Dreyer. God, he loved the charter season, especially when his client was Jane Warner. Oh my God, who are these? Okay, people? now we got Pete and Jane. Okay, <laughs> nice. Are these authors just afraid to publish full on romance and feel like they have to cover it up with two to three chapters of gore and sharks? Uh, actually, seems I'm that not way. surprised. That seems like really like... Seems like a good way to sucker us into getting it. Yeah, well, I, I think that it mainly comes from like, you know, uh, writing out your own fantasies and understanding that... Yeah. Like, but like knowing, knowing enough that like you can't do that really, but then not realizing that that's actually what you're doing as yeah. you write like my god he was the rough and gruff type she liked with the just the right amount of growth around the jaw and a physique physique reminiscent of his active lifestyle she had a country accent that was distinct without being too thick and legs that should have landed her in georgia florida line music video so two new characters who are also in love with each other yeah this is about sharks. What? You too good for me? No, it's just, I can't do that anymore. Nobody has to know. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh my god. Yeah, he couldn't withdraw himself from her kiss. Pete didn't think he was the cheating type until that moment. 
This isn't even romance, though. This is just drama. It's just relationship yet there was, drama. I, 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 yet there was a sexual magnetism that drew the two of them together. It wasn't love, just lust. Bro, you could be writing about killer sharks right now, and you're writing about sexual magnetism. Fuck off. <laughs> I, for one, am already terribly invested in physique and legs. <laughs> <laughs> if it was the physique of a shark, maybe. Like, Jesus Christ. This is my point of, like, you know, uh, why not write a short story? Because, like, you could take out all of the everything that I've read after chapter one and two yeah and I, we're still not further in the story so like you you have you write a short story that's like the shark stuff and i assume there's a little bit of shark stuff at the end oh yeah that's not gonna be and, there until the end and well. if you just can combine those two then you would have a nice little short story that would be very thrilling and crazy uh, and instead you've made a book uh, a really long book that has a little bit of story on either end, and then a whole lot of whatever the fuck you want to talk about. You know, uh, people Pete's cheating. Pete's just hoping and... to do a little marlin fishing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a book. This is not what I bought, and not what I thought I was buying. Like, these are new characters that have just been introduced, and their relationship drama. And why? They're like these people are at least the last people were like a biologist, a marine biologist, and these people are what? How are they related to the shark? Imagine if Shawshank Redemption starts out and you get the character, he's he's going into prison. You get that scene, you're like, oh, we're going to go. And then uh, uh, next chapter, uh, let's go to two other characters uh, that are not in prison and are doing something <laughs> completely different and they have relationship trouble. Oh, yes. But can they hold it together? Can, can they hold it together? Can the couple that's perfect for each other just deny the sexual magnetism between they, them? They see, the, they see the, the, the guy getting locked up uh, you know, in oh, the newspaper, yeah. uh, which we already know. Mm. And then, uh, next chapter, we go to two more random couple that's off there cheating somewhere. Yeah, we we know from the start that he, that Dufresne didn't commit the crime, and we spend the whole story actually uh, involving from, with two people who two people are trying to figure that out. Yeah, and we, and then we'll move to another couple that's going to do the same thing. Maybe we'll get another third couple that's also cheating on their spouses, and they'll they'll yeah. figure it out as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> And then Dufresne breaks out of prison at the end. You enjoying your cigar? Very much so. I love the smell. Enjoying married life? Yes. Verbal foreplay. He had heard someone described it as. What a shame. I guess that means we can't relive our good memories together. She leaned back in her chair, her bikini top daring to slip low. <laughs> she stretched one of her legs. Her muscular tone was one of a marathon runner, and she was flaunting it. There was a joy in her eyes. There was no greater power she felt than when she tortured a man with simply her physique. What? That's 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 all the women. That's all the power women have, folks. So okay, so we've got some ladies in this story. We've got some ladies, all right. We've got uh, uh, Olivia, who I thought was the yeah. main character. Yeah, she's a bitch. She hates all men. Yeah, but she's a bitch. Yeah, uh, and and then you have she's got to stick up her ass. And then you have uh, hot mama on the beach. Yeah, uh, she uh, she's a little too old, but she's uh, she's she still hot. Getting, she likes getting compliments, uh, you know, from horny teenagers that yeah. are drinking whole bottles of whiskey. Yeah, whole bottles, just multiple, multiple bottles, <laughs> uh, and then uh, you have you have uh, Lisa, Lisa, who's doing a will they or won't they? Yeah, uh, she does she go with the nine mil? Does she go with the Marlin? You no, know, that's yeah, a good that's question. A good question. And then we have uh, Jane, who is just a uh, tormenting a married man with simply her physique, just her legs, just her legs, and her bikini is almost falling off of yeah. her. Like it's daring to slip low. Yeah. Now, the only way power you know, women uh, have uh, is breaking news for uh, writers out there: uh, women are actually people, uh, the <laughs> real people with uh, you know uh, dreams and desires and hopes and, and 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 things that don't involve being sexual objects. Uh, 
No. 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 You've no. got it all wrong. <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Kim. Women's greatest power, their only power, is their looks. The only thing they want. And if they don't want that, then they hate men and... They're a bitch. They're a bitch. They're an evil doctor who creates mutant sharks. It's just amazing that, like, you you, you can, like, write this with sincerity. You can, like, you can sit down and... You can and sell this book and feel good about it. You can sit down when you're writing it and, and you open up your document that says SCAR. And you've already written your synopsis. You write, you know, a, this a, is killer, a killer shark. killer shark created by science. And you spend and several days... And Satan. <laughs> yeah, and Satan. You spend several days plotting out what Jane is up to and... And, but and, like where's the rational thought where's the like how does this link back to the story or what there's nothing there's like literally nothing in here that's where i'm like this is must be like run on thought writing where like today you sit down and you want just you just want to write about the sexy bikini girl yeah and like that's what your story is going to do in this chapter and then the next chapter you go well now i'm done with masturbating to that so i'll go to my next lady who's uh, just a tease you know and i'll, I'll masturbate to that yeah. and then like next chapter yeah new girl you know and it's just the same thing over and over you're just writing out your imagination and then you slap some shark shit on the end and sell it because that's that's just what writers do that's writer shit yeah this is why like I came in with so much clout for this guy. Yeah, I had so I much we, clout. We were so excited to read his book. I and know. We we were praising him on our last Amazon Underworld when we found this book and saying how how cool it is that he's a theme writer and he seems to really he, know what he, he's doing. And, and he's got he looks like he writing. actually, yeah, he, he looks like he only cares about sharks and deep sea stuff. Now when I look at him, I think he's just a sleazy, you know. Probably never converse with a woman in his life if he thinks this is what they think. They, <laughs> them, <laughs> yeah. the things. Like I, I can, I'm failing to find a connection to the shark. Uh, he says YOLO. He says YOLO, and then he bangs her. She fluttered her eyelashes at him, seeing the shifting of his body weight. She uncrossed her legs. His fingers slipped under her shorts. He had accepted his fate as a dirtbag husband who screwed around behind his wife's back. Cha boy. Jane pulled the rod back and cranked as the he handle. Lifted, as he lifted her up to carry out the deed. I love how it's like, she literally is just an object. Oh, like, yeah. Yep. With this victory, Jane was guaranteed to be uh, extra fiery. And he was the one who would get the benefit from it. Women are literally trophies. <laughs> oh, they're fishing. Yes, Jane is going to be extremely turned on by the fact that he caught a fucking tuna. Oh, shit. Scar's back. His red eye. Yeah. <laughs> He's just got one now. Please eat these people. These vessels carried land-dwelling prey, similar to those that imprisoned him. Humans. Like, I'm excited that the, the shark stuff is back, but, like, at this point, you've betrayed me. There's an argument for, like, I'm trying to make you hate these people, so that you... Even though, like, cheating on your wife's not... Like, you, what, you deserve to get eaten by a shark for that. Yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, but at the same time, if you're if that's your writing technique of like, I'm going to make you hate these people. Well, you're also making me hate your book because you've made me read a whole bunch 20 of twenty percent of it, and one uh, percent of that was shark stuff. Yeah, the thing is, is that like, if you think about like, I I've never read other deep sea thrillers. Uh, you know, uh, th that was more of a movie thing, I think. Yeah. Um, because. I think it's scarier to imagine, like, yeah. I mean, like, how do you, I don't know, how but, do you spice it up? How do you capture that feeling in a book? I mean, you know, uh, 20,000 Leagues or Moby Dick, I don't know, but they certainly don't involve too much 
girl, will they, won't they, let's chat about sexy legs and, you know, bosoms and things of that nature. Uh, they're usually like man versus nature type scenarios, you know. One old gruff sailor's going to do the thing and he won't listen to anybody. He's going to go out because he has a vengeance because the, the big fish ate his dog, you know. Uh, so he's <laughs> going to go out there. He, it's not like a pretty guy and girl. How uh, do you disparage women in that? <laughs> well, in this I mean, scenario, you're not a writer if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> in this scenario, the fish is the woman. Yeah. Jane screamed as the carnivore struck down. Blood and water swept the deck. Through the waves, they could see pectoral fins. Like, that's all you got to do in a book like this, is say shit like pectoral fins. Yeah. Jesus, I wish we got that on film, Jane said. We would have gotten a lot of hits on YouTube, she said. Love it. You know what's not going to get a lot of hits on YouTube? <laughs> Guys, books. Because <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to do an episode <laughs> on it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm almost... It's like, uh, it's uh, not... Uh, uh, this is the pattern it's going to follow. Is introduce people, show them get eaten. Introduce people, show sure. them get eaten. What's the plot? Why introduce these people? Why can't we follow a character, you know, uh, hot on the trail, trying to figure it out? Where is this? Where is? How do we find this sh sh shark in this big ocean? You know, the, how with the mystery and like, you know, oh, there was a report on this place and like there was a fisherman killed. Uh, let's go here and try to let, get on the chopper, everyone. Boom, 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 boom. Land, uh, uh, crime scene investigation. Oh, we found a tooth. Uh, let's, uh, you know, see a massive, a massive tooth. Oh, it was definitely our scar, you know. Okay, problem solved. Um, and then she discovers like, oh, I, I can... I think if I, I, I'm seeing a pattern, it seems to be hitting in this direction. Okay, uh, well, that's actually where I got the fossil. Maybe there is some deeper connection to, you know, the megalodon's, like, instinctual swimming patterns to get to the location to... Jane tugged on the shoulder strap of her bikini, slowly pulling it down. Pete could feel his energy returning. <laughs> Sorry, did I, did I interrupt your, your shark story with... With meaningless shit? With meaningless <laughs> sex crap? That's right, I'm a piece of shit, and I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it. Yeah, that's not a man thing. Yeah. 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 That's man shit. Yeah. Shit. He swooped in toward her like a shark had done with its prey. My God. His hands grabbed at her clothes, ready to tear them off and take her into his cabin. Yes, like, but like, you're not earning the shark attacks now. You're trying to, like, you're hammering it in that this guy's like, I'm a literal piece of shit. That he deserves to get eaten? <laughs> he saw the red eyes glowing red. Really? The red eyes were glowing red. She didn't see it until those jaws closed around her. Her scream was as brief as the pop of a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, how does this guy write so many stories about marine monsters and then, like, have these wacky, wacky, like, the... Shark comes into the cabin of the boat and then bites onto her and she's like, ah, oh my god. Oh, sorry, she's, ah. <laughs> yep. And then ah. the way that she dies um, is that she drowns on her own blood uh, before her mulched body is slurped into the shark's... <laughs> and then after swallowing, Scar was now acutely aware of the fact that he was out of water. He was now trapped inside the hole he had punched into the boat and did not have the capacity to move backward. With only a few minutes before suffocation drained his senses, the shark did the only thing he could do, thrash and bite. 
<laughs> my god. Well, he's got enough brain power to punch through a, a punch a hole through the boat and snag the kill. And then he's like, well, what do I do now? I had no exit strategy. And how big is this boat? The fucking shark is 32 feet long. It's losing me. He seized the panicking human. Uh, okay, yes, he eats him. And the, the key here is what is going, the next chapter going to be about? We're back with Olivia. Rock Fender. Rock. Rock. Am I saying that right? Rock. Rock Fender. Rock Fender. The woman was a control freak with a chip on her shoulder. Because it would have crushed her into the ground. Yeah. Women are bitches and deserve to die. He loved hunting, whether it was man or beast. The other guy's name is Dawn. What's with these names? Dawn and Rourke. What's up with all the cigar smoking? And drinking whiskey. He's like... <laughs> I'm so excited to, to have the characters explain to these new characters what we've already read. I'm I'm like... I'm ready to call it, dude. I don't know. There's not enough here. I really, really, really thought that... Uh, well, it's the season finale. That's what I wanted to read something good for season yeah, finale. Yeah, um, same. The, the, the problem with this is that it's... Uh, it's too big. There's too much in this book for what the idea is carrying. Well, no, you could write a really long book about this subject. It's just that the, this book is not its subject. It's something else. Again, it's a liar book. It's saying, it's saying actually, uh, this book is about, you know... Uh, this is another scene where Nick shows Lisa how to shoot guns. This is a book about trucks. And drinking whiskey and smoking cigars. Well, um, I don't know. What do you think when you look at that? I think it's something about uh, uh, you know, a man uh, meddling with a uh, man meddling with uh, genetics, going too far, creating something that they have done, and then uh, Scar being the revenge or consequence for that meddling, uh, in a sort of uh, you know. Uh, oh, you you wouldn't make make a poor writer. <laughs> this is sorry, a, sorry, sorry. This, this is, is a about book, uh, this is a book about uh, 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 titty girls and, uh, and bitch and, women, bitch women, uh, hot women. Uh, well, old women, old still women, hot, still hot. Um, um, anything else? Adultery is bad. Adultery is bad. Eaten by sharks if adultery. Yep. But also, sexy lady, sexy girl, sexy girl. Whales aren't whales. Whales, whales are killer dolphins. whales. Killer whales aren't. Whales, the dolphin. Not fish. Not fish. Nine millimeter is fun to shoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Girls like big packages, big yeah. megalodon packages. They like a full clip. Yeah, they like a full clip. Yeah. They like a lot of stamina. <laughs> That's what I think when I look at a, an image like that. Oh my God. Well, uh,. <sighs> That was a big fat disappointment. I really thought this book was going to be good. Me too, man. I thought this is going to be like the, you know. This is going to be the hard target of aquatic adventures. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 and then you. you well, what can we do? What can we do? Like, we try to narrow it down into, like, this is surely going to be what yeah, we think it is. Yeah, this has to be. I mean, we look, look at, at all these books that he's written. We look at his author page. He's writing only monster stories. He looks passionate about it. We look at the synopsis. We buy the book. We look at the first couple pages. And we're like, wow. And we're like, there is no way this one's going to not be what we think it is. 
and then chapter in, chapter in, boom. It's uh, there. It's all the story it. is gone. No sexy stuff. You slip it in. Sexy stuff. You slip it in like you slip in a, a full clip in a nine mil. Yeah, or you slip your hand down Jane's shorts. <laughs> <laughs> They're daring to dip low. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was uh, Scar. That was Scar. At least about 25% of it. Uh, that's all I'm planning to read of it. Yeah, it uh, lost me big time. Uh, what we will do, though, is we'll, we're going to have to look for a new book. Um, oh, I thought we were going to have to do one of our punishment books. <laughs> punishment? What is our punishment book? The Mantis Saga. <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. That's like the the ultimate. It's only about the six. But that's even worse. Yeah. It's like the ultimate slays. Well, I guess we will try to find something else then. I mean... We had a few other punishment books that I think I've already gotten rid of. There's always this. No. <laughs> we'll not read that. Um, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to do another book hunt and try to find Book hunt something. stream tomorrow. Book hunt book stream, hunt stream tomorrow. tomorrow. We'll try again. Yeah. And uh, we're also planning to do some writing. We're going to do some writing. We did some reading. Did some did reading. Some reading. Well, I'm going to do some writing. I'm we'll doing do a, a Nano Remo project. Kim's doing short stories. Yeah, that is um, continual uh, pathway to writing great books like you've just seen. Yes, uh, we're inspired by the best. Yeah. Uh, and so we're also going to do a little bit of, uh, of a writing workshop if you want to come. And, uh, if you've got your own projects that you're working on, you can, um, you know, and you by. need some more motivation <laughs> yeah, to not or, write these things, but write, you know, quality. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to come by and talk about your projects, are we open to reading short story collections? We haven't. We uh, haven't. It's never been done before. Uh, we haven't in the past. Um, it's something we could do, I think. Do. It's just generally speaking, we like to uh, build our episode around a particular like subject, and that's a little bit hard to do. But maybe maybe we we'll try something new. Maybe we we'll yeah. try something new. Short story collection might be a, a, like we could do that on this show yeah as well that might yeah. be a little more conducive to yeah we, we're actually we had this poetry collection that we were going oh, to go through yeah. <laughs> we do. It's uh, <laughs> which is written by a, f- a fellow podcaster oh yes who has a very great podcast yeah um and uh and he's got a book on of bo- his poetry uh, yeah it's excellent it's great uh, references to women eating sushi and how that's very sexy uh, so maybe you know yeah. maybe combinations of that. We will if you send it to us, we will find something to do with it. I yeah. can guarantee that. Um, you know if it's uh, if it's worth digging into, then we will we will dig into it in some format. Still going to try to find like a good like I want a good closer. book. You know that's not just about reducing women to objects or to anything like that. We were reaching so low too. We were just like. Sharks. That's gotta be good. It's gotta be at least there's no not. Way. There's no there's way. No this way. is about sexual yeah. fantasies. Oh no, no, it is. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of disappointment, but um, yeah, so it goes. Oh, Necrovoid. I forgot about that book. Yeah, we didn't re- read that one. That's that's one we um picked up, and it was a little too boring. Um, I'm playing a bowland. So uh, we're gonna try again. And uh, hopefully we find the winner we're looking. What can you do? Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for coming and enjoying our stream of Scar. Yeah. Sorry. I, yeah. I, I, Look, <laughs> if you're going to watch the broadcast, you have to expect to be disappointed. Yeah, continually. Just as we always are. Yeah. Uh, if you want to give us further support, we have a Patreon. You can check it out. It's going to be in the description of the stream and all of our videos. And I'm sure you can find it by Google mm-hmm. or something. Uh, and we, we will be, uh, we will have more uh, cameras, we'll have, uh, you know, better editing, we'll have uh, all sorts of stuff coming. Uh, yeah. Season New 4 shows. is going to be a billion times bigger. It's going to be a uh, megalodon. Yeah, it's going to be a megalodon crossed with a great white. Yes, uh, and we would love to do this full time. Yes. So uh, if you and your friends watch the show or any one you know even if they don't watch the show tell them to support us we would really appreciate it <laughs> uh, uh otherwise harass your friends and family yeah uh, otherwise uh we do appreciate uh just watching yeah um until next time which will be tomorrow see you guys later see you later <laughs>